What's up beautiful people? Today we're gonna talk about humidity in the studio. I show you some tips and tricks how you can measure humidity and what you can do if the humidity in the studio is too high. But first of all, beer of the day. The beer of the day is the Herforder Pilz. I will put in the link into the description. Prost! Awesome! So a device you definitely should consider is a thermometer which actually can measure humidity as well. So as you can see we have 23 degrees at a rel relative humidity of 67% and uh, this is definitely too much. So you, can, you see this uh, little uh, LED blinking here which uh, reminds me that there is some danger of getting moho in my room. Um, yeah and the sad face here tells you yeah, well, uh, actually 68% is too much. Uh, what you can do is um, lower the humidity with a dehumidifier. I will show you that. And uh, one interesting thing is, uh, here is that uh, this one is measuring humidity over time. So you can see it is uh, just for the last couple of minutes uh, in the critical area above 65% uh, humidity where you actually can get moho uh, in the room when it uh, stays too long in that area but uh, before that it was quite okay so um, opening the windows and getting in some fresh air at the right time um, is definitely worth it so what do you have to, what do you have to keep in mind is that you just open the windows when the outside temperature is below the inside temperature. Otherwise, the room will get even more humid. This device um, is a so-called dehumidifier, which can remove humidity from the air of the room. It works a bit like a refrigerator. So if you have a plane which is cooler than the actual uh, room temperature, then the moist from the air will condense on that uh, plane. So what you need to do is just start this one. It has a built-in humidity measure as well and you can see it's 72. I think it, the sensor is actually nearer to the floor. So you can see the humidity, the measured humidity is dropping. It extracts uh, humidity from the air. What you can do is let it run for a couple of minutes. So in my case, to get the humidity into a range which is actually good for the music equipment, it's about 55, I wouldn't go any higher. 55 is quite okay. I would let it run half an hour and then you're set. We should look again at the humidity value after half an hour running. So. After letting the device run for half an hour, we reached 55% of relative humidity. Let's quick check with the other, oh, it's 56, so 1% difference doesn't matter. I would recommend if you are in a basement, if you have some instruments, first of all check the humidity level. Uh, too dry isn't good as well. So if it's too dry, some instruments can get some cracks. If you have too much humidity, you can get moho, which isn't a great thing either. So this was another video from Prestissimo Guitar. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more.